All right, guys, we're back at the shop. We are going to start getting some of the stuff out of the boxes and uh, put some proper totes so we can start getting everything organized. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff. The entire truck is full. I didn't even have room for everything. I'm going to have to go back and get more, but we're going to start taking stuff out of the cardboard, consolidating and cleaning stuff. And um, we got a task cut out for us. This stuff is cool, but it's attic fresh, and you know what that means. Crunchy. Lots of dirt, lots of... Uh, stuff that needs to be cleaned off of it so what i'll do is i'll go through some of this as i'm getting it transferred over to show you guys a little bit more of what we did get um out of there and then we're going to go back and we are going to get some more and then um we're going to look at some dig through some more of the stuff and look through some more of the stuff uh, back at the house when we go back with tom so let's see how accurate this is exo squad x-men muscle men we'll see we'll see we shall see Fireball Island here. Fireball Island was one of my favorite games as a kid. Um, hopefully this one's complete, because it's actually probably something that I'll play with the kids, because I remember playing it. I think it was just this, like, plastic tray, and then the, the what's it called, the idol there, a couple pieces and bridge pieces, so hopefully that's a complete. We'll check. This other one, this Skittle Bowl, no clue. This is, like, a before my time. Looks like it's probably from the early 70s-ish. I'm not sure. There's probably a date on it somewhere. Made in the USA. Some sort of bowling game. And Crossfire. Like I said, this game was uh, very, very intense when you watch the commercials. Like the kids are spinning. There's like someone standing on one of these things. And you're shooting with the balls trying to get over there. Looks like it's got a ton of BBs. Um, I don't know how many it's supposed to have, but there's a lot in there. So that's going to be fun. Maybe we'll have some Crossfire competitions in the shop. Winner gets a discount or pays extra. I don't know. Something fun. Got some Pokeballs back there. There's my mating uh, Battle Bones. Hall of Justice. I think we're going to start on that side and get some of these cardboard boxes done. What's that? Do you guys remember? Some kind of stomper set, I believe. Probably wrong, but... Let's get some of these boxes going. You didn't think I was going to put this away without checking to see if it had the pieces. This is going to be fun. The kids will love this. Got the little idol that goes up there. I don't know how many fireballs and men and bridges it's supposed to have, but it does look like there's a lot of pieces in there. Got some of the gem that goes in there. All the cards. Hopefully, we'll count that out later, but kids are going to have fun with this one. All right, these clear stackable totes are my favorite because you can see through them. So it looks like we have some uh, Ninja Turtles. He said there wasn't a ton of Ninja Turtles there, um, but they didn't have a lot of them when they were a kid. That's not a Ninja Turtle. I can't remember that toy line, but it was like some kind of Fisher-Price dinosaurs. Definitely dinosaurs, I think it was. Some hard hits. Now, he couldn't remember the name of this line, and I don't remember it either off the top of my head. I wonder, is it not? It's not StarTac. Um... Kenner, Parker Toys, 1989. Not sure what it is. He said they have like little tanks and little vehicles and stuff that went inside. So I'll have to do some more research on that. I can't remember what that is. I don't know that I've ever seen it. With the motorcycle. And over here you got some Jurassic Park and Skeletor's uh, cod piece or whatever the heck it's called. Got some Jurassic Park in here. Got the helicopter. It's dirty. Like, see, I, I'm going to have a lot of cleaning to do. There's a lot of just, you know, particulate matter on these. That goes to um, mask. That's the jail cell door for um, Boulder Hill. Oh, wait, we have Dennis Nedry. That is exactly how he looked in the movie. I mean, he was badass. He had guns and a squirt gun and all that fun stuff. You got the spitter. Can't remember half these dinosaurs, like, real dinosaur names, but... That's not Jurassic Park, is it? Uh, not the Jurassic Park. That might be the Definitely Dinos, right? Is that what it was called, or am I crazy? I'm probably crazy. Got the Jeep and the windshield. And Ellie, I think her name was, in this little fella. Not sure what that is, either. There are so many different toy lines. Trying to remember them all and figure out what they all are is pretty darn near impossible. So... Get that stuff swapped over here, and we'll go to the next box. All right, we found this. I believe this is uh, yeah, this is the Refrigerator Perry's uh, GI Joe accessory weapon that was in with all the dinosaurs. Um, what do we have here? So this is the Star Wars stuff. This box is old and crusty. So we have the Death Star uh, playset, pieces of it here. I know we kind of started looking through some of this stuff there, but in the interest of time, we had to 
jettison. We got a Rancor monster whose arm is off. There's probably a way to fix that. Looks like it's just a rubber band in there. Um, I'll have to check into that. Got a is that the B wing, I think. You got a Ad At Walker driver. We got a Millennium Falcon. What's this? Mysterious paperwork. Uh, looks like some kind of Detroit Junior Red Wings posters. Set that aside. We're not going to put that in with the Star Wars. We got a Millennium Bulk in there. There's always stuff you can hear rattling inside these things normally. Nope. Sometimes you'll hear like a weapon or a blaster will fall back inside of there. And uh, you can get it out. So here's another piece of the Death Star. The trash compactor. Got the leg for the Millennium Falcon, or one of the struts, rather. And again, sometimes all this stuff won't be in here, but the pieces will be the pieces I need to complete other ones I have. There's a speeder bike. And whatever that piece is, looks like it's broken. See, that's the chance you take when you buy a big collection like this. You don't have time to look through it all. Um, and see the condition on it all, but there's a lot of stuff here, so that's always good. Like these stickers, I will save. I believe those go to the Death Star or the Falcon. And then we have the uh, Chicken Walker the ATST right there. These are definitely loved toys. Um, and there are lots of weapons in there, it looks like. Some blasters. I think that's Star Trek. There's the top hatch for the... Ooh, there's a cane for Yoda. Or no, the Emperor, I think. A lot of stuff in there. I'll go through that bag later. Here's the stickers for the Falcon. A lot of those decals. Hold on to those. You got the cardboard for the Death Star. And another Vader case. Oh, see? There's always... You gotta always check. There's always something down in there. So we got a spear for one of the Ewoks. And I always lift these flaps up um, and check underneath because stuff will fall in there over the years. Now I'm gonna have to use two hands to get that, but we're gonna check it out. What's this? It looks like a piece of a strut or something from uh, the Falcon or a peg for the chair or something like that. All right, moment of truth. Ooh, a staple. Uh, yep, nothing got under there. A little piece of crack, something or another. So, there's a couple more decals there I missed, I think. Yeah, I don't know what those ones go to, but we'll hold on to them just in case. We go with one of these. And you can always uh, glue them back on if you're so inclined. I normally throw them in with the item. Alright, let's check this Vader case out. I need two hands to open it because it'll flop everywhere. All right, so what do we have in here? We have a Vader, broken lightsaber. We got a Bib Fortuna, Klaatu, uh, Lando. That is a rough Luke Skywalker in a nine nub. I forget the robot's name. It's a Jedi Luke. Of course, his nose is always rubbed. That's no different. Got a little stormy. Bosch Leia, who uh, needs some Propecia. Another Klaatu. There's an ATST driver. Normally, if I get these guys and they don't have any weapons, I'll throw them with an ATST. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, Hoth guy. So, a lot of these figures are in rough shape, and he told me they were going to be because they were well loved, which is great. Uh, Lobot. Two uh, uh, Walrus Man. You got a. Whoa! Beater, 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 Boba Fett. This one's a little nicer. It looked like a General Lando over there. I don't want to know what's going on in here with Forlom. And uh, General Modine. Oh, EV-9. D9, that's nice. And she has both of her arms, or he. Cool. Another uh, last 17 there. You got uh, Imperial Dignitary. I guess I should probably pull that Lando out, too. Who else is in here? A-Wing pilot. That's a loosey-goosey Chewbacca. That's actually not Star Wars. It's a black hole, I think. I forget. Got two Yodas in here. 
And some, ooh, some Dagobah, or probably, this is what happens with this stuff. It is just, it just decays. There's nothing you can do about it. Gonk droid. Leia. Let's see, is there any weapons in here? Nope, there is an R2-D2. He is a really, really, really rough-shaped R2-D2. <laughs> There's a um, Baraka. What's his name? Baraka? Barada? Baraka? So that's cool. Hopefully we'll have some weapons for the ones that have weapons. Which, as you guys know, he didn't come with any weapons, and either did he. Lando had a blaster and a cape. I haven't seen any coins yet, but that doesn't mean they're not in there. Um, or in the other box, so... We have a lot of figure cleaning to do, and a lot of sorting to do. It's gonna appear. All right, so here's the other box. I wonder if this is like an original Apple box. Like, if anyone would want this for their collection. 1992. When did Apple come out? I don't know. Well, that's 92 Apple computer box. Might be some value to it. Who knows? Let us see what we have in here. We'll look through this a little closer. I know we peeked in it the other day when we did the video. We'll save that for later. Um, this looks like the Play-Doh mat. And there's the Jabba the Hutt. If you guys saw the collection we got from Illinois, there was an actually sealed Jabba the Hutt Play-Doh set. So that's what this stuff goes to. Make a little Gamorian Guard Play-Doh men. There's the skiff. I'm just going to try to get all this stuff consolidated out of here, like we've been doing. Oop, there's a Salacious Crumb, so hopefully we have a Jabba the Hutt somewhere. Set him aside. I think I saw pieces of that in that bag of accessories. There's more stuff for the Death Star. Let's try to do this so it stays out of the way. There's an Imperial shuttle in there. That one might not fit in my box here. Cannon for the um, Death Star. TIE Fighter. Some mini rigs. I think the door for that mini rig was in that one box. Looks like a coffin. Some more of the Play-Doh pieces. We have a TIE fighter, or I mean an X-Wing fighter, rather. All right, some Millennium Falcon pieces. Or, uh, no, that's Death Star pieces. We got a Y-Wing. Woo! We got a Dungeons and Dragon monster in there. Up, oh, it's got some plastic melt. I hate when that happens. You could like see the tentacles on there from that um, creature grabbing it. That's a D&D monster. I forget which. What is that thing? It's not a mind flare. I can't remember, but he's adorable. Oh, there's Jabba right there. We got Tauntaun. He's got his saddle, no harness. Another mini rig. And again, we'll go through all this stuff, get it cleaned up piece together, see how much complete stuff we have. There's a Max Rebo Band piano. Oh, that's a shame. That thing got on this. I'm assuming there's some kind of chemical reaction between the two different kinds of plastic. There's the canopy for it. At least it's that center fin, which I think is the one that you can swap out. I'm going to need two hands to get that. It's kind of wedged. All right, there she is in all her glory. And it looks like the uh, canopy. I saw the canopy somewhere. Didn't I just grab it out? Oh, I thought I just had it. Maybe I stuck it in there already. I don't know. It's missing its cover piece there. Um, not sure what that gun goes to. Got a little die cast falcon. But yeah, the thing with this, that middle thing can be swapped out. That was the one that looked like it had the damage to it. Let me double check. I'm, I'm going crazy here, guys. I'm going crazy. I thought I pulled out the canopy. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So say, I'm pretty sure I saw that in there. So. It's a helicopter. They're watching us. They're watching us. Does that go on there? That's the... I've only had like two of these, so yeah, that goes there. Yeah, it's got a little melt on it, unfortunately. It's probably supposed to have plastic glass cut over there. Some more labels. You got Jabba there. See, there's a handcuff. 
Nope, handcuffs gone, unfortunately. Maybe it's inside of that accessory bag. That's on top to a uh, ATST. Must be another one that they had. Some more uh, canopies there. And that I think goes to that mini rig. I'm just throwing all the stickers inside there. Let's see, anything into this? Nope. And nope. All right, let's take a better look at what's in this one. Pause. All right, so in here we got some of the band uh, for the Rebo band. No flute. We got that yellow trooper. I know we kind of peeked through these earlier. C3PO, Forlom, or Lobot. Emperor, you got another Bosch Leia. That one has hair. These carrying cases were horrible. You got a Han, you got a Rebel, another Han, Emperor. Did he actually have these where they were supposed to be? Doesn't look like it. Got a snow trooper, no uh, skirt, another Bib Fortuna, another Luke. Again, his face is kind of busted. Leia with her poncho. We got Luke in disguise. He's rough, and I don't see a helmet in there. We got a Death Star gunner. We got me. Got a really, really, really yellow uh, Tuscan Raider. This this batch doesn't look like it has as much um, or has more damage. It looks like more fading and stuff. I wonder if it was just in a different part of the attic or if these were earlier ones that they had gotten. Got a Spiker Scout. There's the other uh, member of the Max Rebo Band. There's Lando in disguise. Oh, that's a hollow cheek, hollow cheek Tuscan Raider, isn't it? It is. Nice. Uh, is this a red bar? No. That'd be cool. Here's Han and Carbonite, but no Carbonite. Luke with a half a saber. But that's not even his saber. That's Obi-Wan's saber. And then we got some Ewoks over here. A monster for the uh, trash pit. And I guess we'll put him with the so there we got some Ewoks. I forget all their names. Is that Roomba? Rombo? And of course, Micah Morgengard. And there's Max. Cool. All right. Um, got to open the shop here in a minute, but we'll go through one more little thing. All right. I got to open the doors here in like five minutes, but let's see what's in here. I'm kind of curious. Just going to dump it in here. see what we got um some dagobah foam so that's part of this and i'll put the weapons or the accessories that go with the uh, ships rather in here to keep all that together some pieces for the death star and millennium falcon just for the y-wing speeder bike parts that was the java That's going to be a fun sort later. So we do have some of the capes in here. It looks like hers is ripped. Lando's is not. That goes to the um, Imperial Shuttle. It's the hatch door for the Falcon. Some more stuff for some of these vehicles. A lot of vehicle parts in here. I'm seeing some weapons. Looks like a mix. There's some G.I. Joe. Oh, there's the Han. <laughs> Covered in fuzz. Vulcan piece. Oh, there's the rest of the Imperial Shuttle. I don't know if that was just taped in. Maybe it'll snap back in. I'm not sure how that one worked. Alright, so there's General Lando's. No, that's not General Lando. That's a uh, Forlom. There's the speeder bike's weight block there. Or uh, snow speeder, rather. It's a jaw wall cape. It'd be nice if it was a vinyl one, right? There's Poncho. Trying to get this stuff off. There's a brown snake, so they got a brown snake Yoda in there. Put all that in there. 
Little mini rig piece, hatch top for the walker. And let's see what pieces we can see in here. This foam is probably just, yeah, it's gonna have to go, I think. A lot of pieces for a lot of these weapons and vehicles, rather. Let's jab the hooks. Oh, good. There's a the stormtrooper helmet. Good morning, guards. Axe. All right. So we have that goes to the bike. That's GI Joe, I think. Jabba. Got some Ewok weaponry in here, some blasters that goes to Klaatu, General, eh, that's Modine, right? Bosch Leia, that goes to G.I. Joe, there's General, that's General Lando's cape, looks a little rough. Some more capes, hopefully those will clean up. Uh, is that the Falcon? I know it goes to a vehicle, looks like the same car plastic. There's the half of the bomb for the Y-Wing. Got uh, fat guy, I forget his name, Rancor Keeper's helmet, C-3PO, Jedi Luke's cloak, Jedi Luke's cloak. Um, I'm not sure what that goes to. Got lots of blasters in here. There's the other half of the bomb. Tauntaun's uh, reins, they are broken. I always thought this, this doesn't look like a weapon for Star Wars, but it actually is. It goes to Forlom, I think it is. It's one of those bounty hunters. Uh, there's a belt. Some Ewok weapons. They go to Jabba, I think. Another strut for the Falcon. Oh, there's that medical droids uh, thing. There's a Yoda cane. Yoda man. Oh, there's Bosch Leia's helmet. Yeah, that stuff, that foam just gets on everything. Ugh. Speeder bike flap. Another Yoda cane. I don't see any Leia blasters, unfortunately. Unless I'm missing them. Yeah, there's an Imperial blaster. Leia's blasters are always missing because they're so small. Oh, that goes to Castle Grayskull. That's a good piece. So we have a good uh, good amount of accessories here. Not sure what that one is. I don't know why it does not look familiar to me. Not sure what that is. Yeah, I don't see any. Oh wait, there's another. This is the Black Imperial Blaster. Um, am I missing a Leia Blaster? Does anyone see one? Hers is the hardest to find, I find. That and those Imperial Blasters are always missing. Because they're so teeny. Ah, well. Still some good stuff in there. Not sure what that is. It might go to one of those mini rigs. The mini rigs have a bunch of weird little pieces. That's a broken something. All right, guys. Well, we'll go through some more of these totes later. I have got to get the shop open um, because we opened uh, one minute ago. So we'll uh, see you in the shop.